house is the front of the house. You can see it's a huge fronted house. 200 metres, possibly more. It's in a small hamlet of mainly Spanish residents. I think there's just one other English family that lives here. The rest are Spanish. All old Corsitos. In the process of being reformed or already fully reformed. We're about three, four minutes drive from Oria Town, which has got bars, restaurants, shops, nice, small, traditional Spanish town. Infrastructure all in place. We've got a communal swimming pool. This we're walking down to now is the land. The land runs in a strip straight down from the back of the house. You've got almonds mainly growing on this land. As you can see, you've got fantastic mountain views. You're out in the countryside, yet you've got people living around you in the hamlet, so you're not completely isolated. Down at the bottom of the tarmac road that runs into Warrior Town in one direction, or to Kula Town in the other direction. You've got parking here at the front of the house. Goda, uh, back of the house, it's got a covered terrace, which you could easily put glass windows in the start of the kitchen to an all year round additional room if you need one, but to be honest the house is that big that you probably don't. wood double doors here coming into the kitchen. It's got a good size, fully fitted kitchen. And then the doorway here leads through to a separate utility room. It's all plumbed in here for washing machine, fridge freezer, got a big boiler there which runs the water to down there. We've got an archway here, leads through into what's currently used as a dining room or a second lounge. Then you've got two wood windows with wood lid floors. It's been very nicely done. This house has been empty for a couple of years, but it's been well looked after. We've got a staircase here which leads up to the next floor. That might not suit everybody, but it's quite easy to put in another staircase if you wanted to. And coming through here leads you into a small downstairs bathroom, just with a toilet and sink, basically. Plenty of room there, storage. You could probably even put in a bath there if you wanted to. And next to that, you've got another small room which would be a bedroom if you wanted to, although well, it'd only be a single room or you can get an office or a study. And then coming through here into a huge big lounge. We've got a big log burner here which throws out an amazing amount of heat in the winter. This wall here at the side of the fireplace. It's actually only a stud wall, so if you didn't want the study room next door, you could knock that through and make it an even bigger lounge still. That doorway at the end there leads out to the terrace outside with the view that we saw earlier. Okay, coming back through into the lounge. And the staircase here. Go to the second floor. really big hallway here which leads to all the bedrooms. At the top of the stair on the right here is the first bedroom which is a huge big bedroom. Nice and light.
ज्ञान From this bedroom, we go up to the terrace above the cupboard terrace underneath. Oh, this has got fabulous views. Thank you. 